In the ever-evolving world of Wall Street, Palantir Technologies has been a polarizing force ever since its direct listing debut in September 2020. The bulls were initially captivated by the data mining firm's robust growth, the stickiness of its government contracts, and the immense growth potential of its commercial business. Its prowess in aggregating data from disparate sources to empower its clients with smarter, data-driven decisions also positioned it as a promising play in the burgeoning artificial intelligence market. Palantir stock has more than doubled from its opening price of $10, yet it remains nearly 50% below its all-time high. The company's revenue surged an impressive 41% in 2021, but the growth trajectory decelerated to just 24% in 2022 and 17% in 2023. This deceleration, missing the company's own goal of at least 30% growth through 2025, made it an easy target for the bears as interest rates climbed. Palantir primarily attributed this slowdown to choppy government spending and other macroeconomic headwinds. While Palantir's revenue is stabilizing and its profits are rising, it is still valued at a staggering $46.6 billion, which translates to a frothy valuation of 17 times this year's sales. However, there are two less valuable tech stocks named Zscaler and the Trade Desk that have the potential to eclipse Palantir's current market capitalization in just two years. Zscaler, which has a market cap of $26.5 billion today, provides zero trust services, treating everyone as a potential threat. Unlike many other cybersecurity companies that install on-site appliances, Zscaler provides its tools solely as a cloud-native service, which is stickier, more cost-effective, and easier to scale. From fiscal year 2020 to fiscal 2023, Zscaler's revenue grew at a compound annual growth rate of 55% as companies scrambled to upgrade their internal defenses. Like many other cloud-based cybersecurity companies, Zscaler faced a slowdown over the past year as the macroeconomic headwinds made it harder to lock large customers into longer-lasting contracts. However, during its latest conference call in February, Chief Executive Officer Jay Chaudhry stated the company was not experiencing any significant pressure on its big deals and that zero trust remained a top priority for many industries. Analysts expect Zscaler's revenue to grow at 27% from fiscal year 2023 to fiscal year 2026 as it overcomes these near-term challenges. Assuming it still trades at 12.5 times its trailing sales, by the end of fiscal year 2026, its market cap could reach $41 billion. While Zscaler is not yet profitable on a generally accepted accounting principles basis, it occupies a more defensible niche than Palantir. It is growing faster, and it is still trading at lower valuations than the data mining company. The Trade Desk, which is worth $42.8 billion, owns the world's largest independent demand-side platform, which is also known as DSP for digital ads. DSPs help advertisers automatically purchase ad space across a wide range of platforms, including desktop personal computers, mobile devices, and streaming video services. They sit on the opposite end of the supply chain from sell-side platforms, which help publishers sell their own ad inventories. Tech giants like Alphabet's Google and Meta platforms bundle together DSPs, SSPs, and other advertising tools, but they typically lock advertisers and publishers into their walled gardens. To tear down these walls, many companies are turning to independent DSPs like the Trade Desk to reach the open internet of other websites, apps, and streaming video services. The Trade Desk's revenue grew at 33% from 2020 to 2023, even as the broader advertising market grappled with the pandemic, inflation, geopolitical conflicts, and rising rates. Most of this growth was driven by the rapid expansion of ad-supported streaming video platforms. Its utilization of first-party data and AI-driven ad placements also helped its clients navigate Apple's restrictions on third-party data across iOS devices. Analysts expect the Trade Desk's revenue to continue growing at 22% from 2023 to 2026. If it still trades at 17.5 times sales, by then it would be worth over $60 billion by the end of 2026. While the Trade Desk might initially seem as pricey as Palantir, the ad tech leader is growing faster than the data mining company and boasts clearer competitive advantages in its domain. 